As Israel's war with Hamas is escalating, reactions have come from the international community. Concerns are rising over the situation in the region, as also on how the crisis could spill over. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has said that further escalation should be avoided. He urged all parties and those who have influence on those parties to make sure to avoid a spillover. A co correspondent in New York, Susan Tehrani, has more details about the UN chief's statement. Listen in. Here at the United Nations on Wednesday, Secretary General Antonio Guterres pleaded for the war between Israel and Hamas to be contained, warning of a possible spillover. He also called on leaders with influence in the Middle East region to prevent such a spillover from happening. He also called for the immediate release of all hostages being held captive by Hamas, while also saying that aid must be allowed in Gaza. His comments come just one day after UN Under Secretary General for Humanitarian Affairs Martin Griffith warned that the situation in Gaza is dire and that the laws of war must be upheld and also called for the humane treatment of those hostages now being held in Gaza. The UN says that with water now cut off, some 650,000 people are at risk of not having drinking water. In some areas, sewage and solid waste is already accumulating in the streets, causing severe health concerns. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On World Is One. Meanwhile, other reactions have come in the last 24 hours. Russian President Vladimir Putin has blamed U.S. failures in West Asia for the situation. Though he remains unequivocal in supporting Palestinian cause, he also added that Russia could play a role of a peacemaker as it has good relations with both sides. The United States has practically moved away from the previous international instruments for resolving this issue which includes several countries, one of them was Russia. They practiced monopolizing the resolution process. We have very stable business relations with Israel. We have had friendly relations with Palestine for decades. Our friends know about this. And Russia, in my opinion, could also make its contribution to the peace process. Meanwhile, China, which is emerging as a key player in West Asia, has avoided naming an aggressor in its statement on the conflict. It has called on both sides to end hostilities. However, the statement by foreign ministry did mention that the only solution is implementing a two-state solution and establishing an independent state of Palestine. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has called Israel's response to Hamas's attack disproportionate. Speaking in the parliament, he said that Israel's retaliatory actions were the reflex of an organization and not a state. Suyunu, elektriğini, giriş çıkışlarını kesip, alt yapısını çökerterek, camisinden kilisesine, tüm ibadethanelerini, okullarını yıkarak, insanların en temel insani ihtiyaçlarına erişmesini engelleyerek içinde sivillerin yaşadığı binaları bombalarla yerle yeksan ederek velhasıl her türlü utanç verici yöntemle yürütülen bir çatışma savaş değil katliamdır. Jordan's King Abdullah who also said on Wednesday that no peace was possible in the region without a two-state solution. The king has since the start of the latest conflict been engaged in a flurry of diplomatic efforts with Western leaders urging for a de-escalation. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, who has embarked on a visit to Israel, will travel to Jordan afterwards. Listen to what the king of Jordan had to say on the ongoing war. إنما تشهده الأراضي الفلسطينية حاليا من تسعيد خطير وعمل عنف وعدوان ما هي إلا دليل يؤكد مجددا أن منطقتنا لن تنعم بالأمن والاستقرار دون تحقيق السلام العادل والشامل على أساس 
Meanwhile, NATO secretary extended his support to Israel by saying that it has the right to defend itself against attacks. However, he added that he expects the response to be proportionate. Israel has the right to defend itself, um, and uh, uh, they have suffered uh, horrendous uh, terrorist attack over the weekend, uh, with uh, many civilians uh, killed. And uh, 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 Israel has the right to defend itself against uh, these types of terrorist attacks. Um, then I, uh, I, uh, I uh, also expect that, of course, uh, when uh, we see uh, Israeli responses, it will be proportionate, and it is uh, important as this uh, conflict continues to uh, uh, do whatever is possible to uh, prevent the loss of uh, uh, innocent civilian uh, lives. Thank you.